Um, <laughs> so this is, uh, I only, some news, in fact, most news that Sora News picks up, I pick up actually first from Japanese media. We seem to follow a lot of the same sources and then they um, go ahead afterwards and uh, I, I sometimes feel like, oh, are they following me? But it's not that. We're just following the same sources and they put it into Japanese. However, this one slipped past. This one they definitely got all themselves. Um, so yeah, apparently uh, this guy Kazuhiko Shimura, the uh, city manager of the uh, Kofu City's industrial department in Yamanashi Prefecture. It's funny, I didn't realize Kofu's kind of like quasi Tokyo. Tokyo kind of like juts out. It's like a long sort of sausage-shaped prefecture, and it's at the very end, uh, sort of the western end of that is uh, Yamanashi Prefecture and Kofu. So trains that commute into Tokyo, like the longest trains, like the end of the train line is like Kofu for the Chuo Line. Well, you can already see the uh, presentation. Apparently, uh, when he gave a pep talk to New City employees, he pointed out the uh, the population problem that Japan was happening was having, and uh, suggested uh, that uh, it was the responsibility of city employees that um, they could fix it just by having a good time. In particular, um, he suggested that it would be you know. Japan has a population problem and it's so easy to fix you know you've just just gotta just gotta get around and especially fellas you know I mean you've just got to be a bit more persistent with the ladies and uh, focus on having a good time and the babies will just increase in no time I'm not sure he was fully thinking through the statement <coughs> um, and just saying that it was up to men uh, and, and by the way if, if it sounds creepy to you the idea of joining a company and having the boss or manager encourage you to, to hit on fellow employees um, I've had that, you know, that at Tokyo Marine, uh, it was a uh, man manager mentioned, hey, have you been to any company gokons yet, any matchmaking parties yet? And one time, just out of curiosity, I did go along. But it was actually because it was just because I was the only foreigner in the building and the people there weren't actually like into foreigners. They just wanted to like meet me. And so I was just brought along basically like as a, as a panda for the whole thing. I wasn't taking it seriously myself anyway. So that was all sort of cool. But yeah, that's a thing. But the idea that uh, that, that that is city council worker says hey guys um i mean again he's saying fool around is his you know he's, he's not saying get married and have children because you know people can't afford to get married or raise children but he's saying guys fool around and the population will increase so he seems to be encouraging um well apart from the fact that <laughs> yeah there's a lot of implications of that that are bad and and, and in a way it is the entire attitude I suppose that the population problem can be fixed by um, men folding around, presumably without taking appropriate um, countermeasures. Uh, and I mean, again, if <laughs> what do you think? I, uh, the whole, I mean, again, the traditional way in Japan, as in most of the world, of course, is to, you know, get someone knocked up and then have the old shotgun thing happen. But um, yeah, well, uh, again, I, I think casual attitudes that, hey, you just need to have more sex and just uh, guys, you just need to ask girls out more. Um, thinking that that's the problem is exactly the problem, I think. You know, I think it's fairly well established that uh, people, even when they're married, even who want kids, you know, are holding back from having kids because it's so expensive. And... You know, uh, when you realize that um, the wife is most likely going to be pressured to quit their job to raise, you know, when you have kids. Um, and, and nowadays, it's almost impossible to have any decent sort of, uh, you know, ab economic ability to sustain a family on one income. For a lot of people, it's based, you know, on having two incomes. Uh, combined with uh, all of the obligation and hassle, not just in terms of, um, you know, uh, raising kids and taking them to school and making lunches but also that then happens with families and whatnot after you marry and so on and this is why the marriage rate is declining and it's entirely because of the burden on women so you know uh, again uh, hearts in the right place but the pep talk that uh, hey guys you're just going to fall around and the population will increase is exactly why the population has collapsed in Japan but um, Kofu City you know, ha ha happening place I imagine <laughs> not a lot of women are going to be applying uh, for that place but um, yeah that was an interesting pep talk so that was the first story that I picked up